CSCS mock test for operatives, 10 questions. Question 1. The health and safety sign below is used to indicate, A. Fire hose location. B. Fire assembly location. C. Fire extinguisher location. D. Fire alarm point. Question 1 answer, D. Fire alarm point. Question 2. What should you do if you discover a child wandering around on a construction site? A. Escort the child to safety immediately. B. Just ignore it as it's not your problem. C. Find your supervisor and report it. D. Find your safe manager and report it. Question 2 Answer A. Escort the child to safety immediately. Question 3. What does the health and safety sign below mean? A. Dangerous to the environment. B. Hot liquid. C. Corrosive. D. Irritant. Question 3 Answer C. Corrosive. Question 4. What does the health and safety sign below mean? A. Dangerous to the environment. B. No fishing in this area. C. Do not dump refuse here. D. Protected wildlife area. Question 4 Answer A. Dangerous to the environment. Question 5. If high visibility clothing is needed to carry out your work, who should provide this? A. Your employer needs to provide it then have the cost deducted from your wages. B. Your local job center will provide this. C. Your employer needs to provide this. D. You need to buy your own. Question 5 Answer. C. Your employer needs to provide this. Question 6. To help prevent injuries caused by manual handling you should do all the following except. A. Learn proper lifting and carrying techniques. B. Use lifting equipment. C. Disperse your items into smaller loads. D. Carry as much items as possible to get the task completed faster. Question 6 Answer. D. Carry as much items as possible to get the task completed faster. Question 7. Class B fires are fires involving all of the following except. Choose two answers. A. Kerosene. B. Propane. C. Gasoline. D. Cooking oil. Question 7 Answer. B. Propane. D. Cooking oil. Question 8. Which class of fire does magnesium and aluminium materials fall under? A. Class D. B. Class B. C. Class A. D. Class F. Question 8 Answer. A. Class D. Question 9. Which of these two types of fire extinguishers are most suitable for use on electrical fires? Choose two answers. A. Water. B. Foam. C. Wet chemical. D. CO2. E. Dry powder. Question 9 Answer. D. CO2. E. Dry powder. Question 10. In the event of a fire you should do all the following except. A. Exit the building immediately using the nearest lift. B. Call the fire brigade. C. Operate the nearest fire alarm. D. To call the fire if safe and trained to do so. Question 10 Answer. A. Exit the building immediately using the nearest lift.